Somebody recently challenged me and said, I can't build Netflix with zero lines of code. And I'm not talking about just some glorified MVP front end. I'm talking about front end, back end, login authentication, all the security, everything. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I did exactly that with zero lines of code using this new tool by Trey AI called Solo. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's actually go in. I'm gonna show you the power of why I think this tool is definitely made huge progress in this whole vibe coding no code arena. Let's get into it. So to get started, all you have to do is download Trey and then you get your solo code. And Trey is an actual IDE, like cursor, Winsor, VS code. So it actually lives on your computer. And then once you have it, all you have to do is you have to activate it up here. So right here you have your regular IDE and then you can actually switch to solo. So the whole idea of this coding agent is it understands context very, very well because it thinks like an actual engineer and not just a vibe coding tool. Especially as your tasks get much more complex, this thing does a really, really good job of doing this because of the way they've actually structured and set this up. So all you have to do is on the left side right here, you can see there are three types of agents. You have a builder, you have a builder with MCP integration, and then you also have your solo only builder, and this is the most powerful one. This is what we're gonna be using today to show you what it can actually do. So let's get into it. You could of course start with the Figma file, full integration, you can upload images. There's also context, plus you have your different LLMs available, and then you can do voice input, which is nice. So I'm gonna keep the prompt pretty short and sweet, and here's the prompt. Build a responsive web app similar to Netflix with a homepage featuring move thumbnails, categories, trending, top rated, all that good stuff. All backend logic, data storage, and user authentication should be fully handled. Use modern UX, patterns like infinity scroll and hover preview. And then also I'm just gonna add this. Make it feel premium and minimal like Apple TV, but fast and fun like TikTok. Prioritizing visual vibes and speed and then we're off. So now the agent, the first thing is gonna do is gonna have me set up a folder. So we're gonna open folder. We're gonna to go to our projects. We're gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call this Flickster. We're gonna open it. Now it's gonna set everything up. It's gonna give access to our document folder. We're gonna say yes. And what it's gonna do first is it's going to make a comprehensive plan of what we actually do. It isn't gonna just start coding everything. So right here inside doc view, you could see it starts creating a comprehensive PRD for us with every single component in real time. So you can actually start seeing the process. Okay, so it just created, and I'm gonna show you how insanely technical this is from a PRD. So look at this, architecture design. You got user browser, you got front end layer, which is our React front end application. Then you have a back end layer with our node.js back end API, our cache, it's got our chat server, then we have the video storage, then it has our AI recommendation service, and then a super base database. That's just the architecture. Then we have the technology. We got React, TypeScript, Tailwind, Vite, and React Query. Our backend is Node.js Express Socket, authentication. Then we got super base, and of course we need AWS for the video, for the, uh, the Cloudflare CDN, and then we have Socket for chat and live, and then we also have our open AI for recommendations. But then it gets way more deeper. So we have obviously our route, all of our different links and our URLs. Then we also have what are gonna be our authentication. We also have our content management system, and then we get into the good stuff. So this is the server architecture. So it actually breaks it down for you like pretty in depth. So if you're a developer full stack, I mean, look at this. This shows our data model definition of all the strings, all the timestamps, and then our definition language. So you can go through, for me, this is all gibberish, right? Because I'm not a full stack dev, but if you are, this could be a fantastic tool to really plan this out correctly. And then you go in and make your tweaks before you get started. So first thing I wanna do, of course, is I wanna go into integrations. I'm gonna connect my super base, log in, make sure that that's all connected. Okay, next we're just gonna go in and create a new project inside of Superbase. Let's call this Flickster. Set up a password. Make sure we go West Coast. Create a new project. So now we're gonna have our backend connected inside of Trey. Okay, let's hit refresh. There it is, we're gonna connect Flickster. And now we're done. So right now we're gonna just start with those two. We don't need to do anything else. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the front end. So obviously I don't need to worry about the back end yet. I have a connector for Superbase, so when I'm ready for that, so I'm just gonna go in and say, I want to start with the front end. UI and UX. And off we go. The one thing with Solo is look how fast this thing actually codes. Definitely the fastest I've seen. So it's cooking. Let's take a look at what we got. Look at this madness. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Let's click into one. Not set up yet, but look at this homepage. Dynamic, super high quality. It's got all the information. Let's keep going. Next, I want to add the movie details page. I hope you guys are seeing what this thing is cooking up. I mean, the quality of this, the code base, it's all done with this clear plan of execution with our PRD. And I can just continue developing this every single step of the way and get it all set up, not just the front end, we're gonna do the back end next, and then obviously all of the different integrations that this is going to have, pretty powerful. And the great thing is, once you have your architecture set up, you could obviously modify this in, in, in any way you want, but once it's there, it's going to stick to this exact game plan. So even if you have your own PRD, or you don't want it to actually create the architecture for you, you could just put that into the prompt. What's great about how this is done with tasks is this reminds me of a dedicated like CLI that we've all been using. So it really does break it down into the individual parts that it needs to do. And then every single step is gonna be done correctly versus trying to do it all at once. And if it screws up, it has to go back to the beginning. This way it's going to examine the current project structure, create one thing at a time, and then it's going to complete the task. Yeah, another great thing that I'm seeing right here is inside the terminal, it's breaking down each error and just fixing it on its own. This is a very different approach than actually you having to take screenshots and then put it into the chat, hey, this is broken. It knows what's broken because it's constantly testing in its own environment and in a sandbox, so it knows what the heck is wrong with the project. All right, finished, let's take a look. And let's take a look at our details page. There it is. There's our details page. We got the director and the crew. We got the video trailer. We got other movies like this. It all works. We got the player right here. Wow, this is really clean. Then we got play movie. And look at that, it loads up the actual player. We got some other ones. We got all the details for the film. We can go back. Damn, this is really nice. Let's go back. Let's take a look at another one. There you go. So now we can, you got the thumbs up, we can got the share functionality, we got add to my list. Now it's inside our watch list. All right, so next what we gotta do is obviously connect this back end because I think we do have a good front end now. So now let's go in and say, next I want you to integrate Superbase and connect everything for Superbase, including login authentication. All right, let's see what I can do with the Superbase now. So right now when we go to our Superbase, I'm gonna show you really quick. Let me close all this. Right now it's empty. So we don't have any table, editor, nothing set up. No authentication. So that's gonna be the next thing that it's gonna do and see how it handles that. Man, I do love that though. See, look at that. It took it and broke it down into the 10 tasks. Install Superbase package, create the client configuration, set up the database schema with SQL, create the authentication on the hooks, update all the login pages. Look at this, it's got 10 different tasks and then add of the review functionality in Superbase. And then it's just gonna go in. So one of the fun features that they have is called Flow up here. When you have Flow on, it actually shows you exactly what it's doing. So it's jumping between the different screens. If I shut this off, it's just gonna be basically no activity, but look at that. So now you can see right here, it's creating our schema inside of Superbase. So let's switch over to Superbase, go to our table editor, and just like that, now we have movies, profiles, reviews, user favorite and user watch lists. And next is gonna do the login authentication. All right, everything is finished. Let's go take a look at our back end. So we got our profiles, we got all of our movies. 
So this is actually live data that we can now modify. So we got the last garden. Let's go back. So let's go uh, shadow protocol to show you that this is actually correct. Let's call this final. And then we're going to go back to our app. Let's open it up now. And I'll show you that this is actually connected. There you go, shadow protocol final. So you know it's actually pulling from the database. So it's all connected. Okay, next we also have our login authentication that was already set up. So let's see if that works. Let's go sign up. Let's go Marcin AI. Let's go use an email. Let's use that one, strong password. I'm sure this works. This has been done a thousand times. I don't know why people complicate this process. There you go. Let's wait for the email. And there it is right there. So now we got our email. We got our confirmation. Let's go log in. Put our password and hit sign in. Email not confirmed. Oh, that's right. I didn't click on it. So let me click on that. Hit confirm. And just like that, we are logged in right here. We got our profile settings. We got watch history, my list, my downloads. We got settings. Everything is done in here. Change passwords, set up your payment, connect it. And just like that, you guys see the actual power in this nowadays. It's just getting a bit crazy because it just comes down to the idea. The execution is now these tools are just getting so freaking good that you could actually pull this off. I mean, I'm doing this in real time. It's been about 27 minutes. So one other great feature here is this select mode. Once you hit the select mode, you could actually go in and fix right inside your actual viewer. Yeah, so you could go in and very quickly be able to modify this right here by putting it into chat. And then you can go in and actually make those small little micro changes instead of having a big prompt. So you could really pinpoint all of your little micro changes. Deployment is super easy. You just click deploy and it's going to authorize through Vercel. So that is their choice that they're using. And we've used Vercel a lot. It's a simple plug and play. You set up your project and you are done. So what else could we do with this besides continue developing it, add payment if you want, but you could see the power of this tool now, full stop, no real issues because all of the errors and bugs it just figured it out on its own through this new agent using Solo. So very impressed with it. I'm definitely going to be spending a lot more time in this tool. I'm going to be making more videos. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to try next. But for now, we have our own Netflix clone called Flickster. Hopefully that's not out there. I'm not publicly going to launch this as a real product. This is all for educational purposes and trying out this new tool called Solo from Trey. And if you guys, of course, want to try it, all the links are below. You guys could go in, you could download Trey, and then you can basically apply to get your solo code and start building. I'm super curious to see what you guys are going to build. But definitely this tool, very, very powerful. This recently just got launched, and I can't wait to see what type of projects you guys are going to build. All right, I'll see you in the next one.